So today, we're going to talk about harmonic sequences and harmonic means. So, what are harmonic sequences? A harmonic sequence is a sequence of numbers wherein the reciprocal of the terms form an arithmetic sequence. So, what is the formula for harmonic sequences? 1 is over a1 plus n minus 1 times d. As you can see, the formula for harmonic sequences is also same as the formula in arithmetic sequences. Now you know the formula for harmonic sequences. So, let's try to solve one. Uh, given this sequence, find the fifth term. So, one third and one ten and one seventeen and one twenty-four. So, before you solve this, make sure to disregard the numerator. So, we are looking for a5, so it's question mark. So, a sub 1 is going to be 3 because we are going to disregard the numerator. So, we write a sub 1 is equal to 3. Next is, we get the nth term. The nth term is the term we're looking for and that is the fifth term. So, we write 5. Next is the difference. So, how will you get the difference? To get the difference, you subtract this, the a sub 2 to a sub 1. So, 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. So, 7 is going to be your d. Now that we have the difference, the nth term, and the a sub 1, we are going to plug it in in the formula. So, the formula is 1 over 3 plus the nth term 5 minus 1 multiplied by the difference, which is 7. So again, disregard the numerator. So it is going to be equal to 3 plus 5 minus 1 is 4 multiplied by the difference, which is 7. 3 plus 4 times 7 is 28. And for the last step, get 3 plus 28 is equal to 31. So this is the fifth term. So your a sub 5 is equal to 1 over 31. You know how to solve harmonic sequences. Now let's move on to a new topic and that is harmonic means. Given this problem, insert three harmonic means between negative one half and one eighteen. So a sub one is equal to negative two. Why? Because again, disregard the numerator. A sub five is eighteen, and your difference is question mark. So you write it this way: negative two. Insert three harmonic means. 1, 2, 3, and the last term is AT. Get the difference. So AN is AT because it's the last term. So AT is equal to A sub 1, which is negative 2, plus N, which is 5, minus 1, multiplied by the difference. So, 18 is equal to negative 2 plus 4. D. So, you transfer negative 2 beside 18. So, it's going to be positive 2. So, 2 plus 18 is equal to 4D. So, now you add 18 and 2. So, 18 plus 2 is equal to 20. Then, copy 4D. Now, you divide both sides by 4, then cancel 4 and 4, then divide 20 by 4 is 5 is equal to D. Now, what you do is, since you got the difference, which is 5, now 5 plus negative 2 is 3, 5 
plus 3 is equal to 8. 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. And 13 plus 5 is equal to 18. Now you put the numerators. And this is your three harmonic units. Now you know how to solve the basic problems. Let us now try a word problem. A car travels at a constant speed for an hour. It accelerates by 7 kilometers per hour for each succeeding hour. If its initial speed was 2 kilometers per hour, what was its speed during the 6th hour? You can solve this by using the formula. 1 is over a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. The given are n is equal to 6, a sub 1 is equal to 2, d is equal to 7. We are now looking for a sub 6. To solve this, we just substitute the given values to the formula. So, 1 is over 2 plus quantity 6 minus 1 times 7, which is then equal to 1 over 2 plus 5 because of 6 minus 1 times 7. 5 times 7 is equal to 35. Therefore, 1 is over 2 plus 35. After this, you add 35 plus 2, which is then equal to 1 over 37. So the final answer is, a sub 6 is equal to 1 over 37. Therefore, the car's speed during the 6th hour was 37 kilometers per hour. If you want more practice, try this. If the second term of a harmonic sequence is 1 over 10, and the fifth term is 1 over 17, what is the tenth term?